كنت مع عائلة ما كان عارفهاش واش يمكن تهوستيني شي عائلة بسيكوباتية The host state that I got is What's up, okay? Do you miss me, okay? What's up, okay? I'm so sorry. I'm like, oh, he even sees come. Listen up, listen up. I have my, I have my own reasons. Oh, so, bila siyah, arjuk, bila siyah. No, I didn't like salas. I didn't see that. I literally filmed a video. Like, I stayed up late at night filming like a three-hour video. Hello, bila siyah, arjuk come. I even started like editing and all. Over the summer, it just ended up being a very random video. So. I decided to to redo it again, but after a month, he says don't forward. We just not talk about that. Ah, قبل ما نبدأ نهضر على العائلة وكيفش سكنت مع عائلة ما كان عارفهش. عيشوا مع غرباء لمدة سنة كاملة. كيفش درت ليا؟ إلا ما شتوش الفيديوهات اللي قبل كنت دفعت لواحد البروجرام and I went to the US. The program basically is an exchange year. Kids from the American one day. Kids can come to the American year. Kids from the middle school American year. And so you can do two years more, and then you come back to Morocco. So a lot of questions, Johnny. For what are you going to do? 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 For the US program, I'm going to do in September 2024. It's a full year. واخا تقبلتي راه ما غاتمشيش هاد العام حيت هاد البروسيس راه ايت ا هو يير اتس واي الا بغيتي تمشي لميريكان خاصك تكون يا اما في السانكيام ولا ولا في السيزيام سو so خاصك تدفعي يا اما في السانكيام باش تمشي تقرا السيزيام واش ايز جونيور يير ولا تكون في السيزيام باش تمشي تقرا الباك تما في في ميريكان ومن الرولز ديالهم انك فاش كتمشي كتكمل داك العام تما خاصك ترجع خاصك ترجع للمغرب فور تو ييرز ان جينيرال Ah, this is a next change year. So, get some shit and get out of here. Ah, you do not stay there. You might have heard about the host family rules, everything related to host family. We will talk about the next video. Inshallah, will be about the school. I have a lot to say about the school. It's my situation was really unique with the school. Uh, so that's why I want to make a video. After that, before we start with the host family, I want to talk about the placement. So basically, what is the placement? For those who don't know, you get to be a finalist. You get to be the last stage. A family that will host you. Because you know what you want. Basically, your family in the US, right? So that's what a placement is. And in it, it's a school. So when you get the email of the placement, you basically get your family, your host family's uh, information. Oh, your school's information and state and everything. And the placement jelly came very, very late, and it was really a special case. It's Ishmael. Can I have to say the Ladim Shilia? They were like, "Hey, you have an offer from this school, but you have to sign because it was a special case." I was waiting. I was like, "Okay, this is the state." But I can. I don't have somebody to host me. Like, I don't have a house. So technically, I won't go if I don't have a family, right? At the end of August, I got a placement. A host family like accepted to host me. Had the host family so many kids are by the way. You basically have one of the arm of the letter that got that number. And the host families like if they want to host people, they will try to see if they have the package and they will choose. So you have like to promote yourself. You know what I mean? First, get to meet with the group. Welcome. You go to Washington DC for an orientation. Like, I'll make you feel like if, like if, how can you cope with a new, um, new environment, new host family, new school, everything? And the thing you can do is travel to the Maghreb, and the people, the people who are not from the Maghreb, you can travel to the country. So it's called pre, pre, um, departure orientation. For me, since we we got very late, we only spent a night there. We were running a little bit, like that, and we slept, and then we we went to our states. Before I talk about the states, can I tell you some stories about the kids? Not a little bit, sober, sober. Not a little bit. I want to talk about this question that I got a lot. What is possible to host any child with psychopathy? What if I get? Is that possible? No, it's not possible. That's hundred percent not possible to have a child with a family, right? Why? Because the program actually has requirements for the host families. Kifash, you may ask. Basically, the family is not making those application. So, what kifash? Kim, we can do those application, but we are not going to be able to use the program. So, we need to do those like we do the application, but we need host families. We do a background check to make sure that they're not addicts. They're not. 
you know, uh, to make sure that they're safe, to make sure that they're responsible, to make sure that they have enough money to pay for your food. And that's another question people ask. The family jelk is only required to provide you food and the place to sleep. There is a possibility to have one parent as a host family. There are three possibilities. Lula is to have a normal family, father, mother, and siblings, host siblings. Tanya is father and mother. You're the only kid that they have in their house. And the third one is have one parent, a father for guys and a mother for girls. So don't be afraid. A lot of people have very great experiences with, with just one host parent. But you can just them uh, to assure you they give you a mother and they give you a father now I'm going to talk about the host state in the US if you didn't pay attention I also had this guy as a hint because it symbolizes something the host state that I got is Hawaii I got placed in Hawaii yes I went to Hawaii. Yes. Tell us about Hawaii, Hawaii. Go follow my Instagram. I put them in the highlights. So if you want to see more of Hawaii, go follow my Instagram right now. Right now. Go follow my Instagram. Then come back and, and finish the video. So yes. I got it from Hawaii. Oh, it symbolizes Hawaii. A small story time. So it was my first time, obviously, traveling without parents, without everything. Like, so basically, I had three planes. I went through three planes. We had a direct flight from um, from Casablanca to uh, Washington, D.C. It was a direct flight. And we stayed there for a night. From Washington, D.C., I, um, I had another plane to another state that I forgot the name of. Wait, I don't remember the state that I had a layover in, but basically, I'm in Washington, state. I had a layover. I'm like I had a layover. From so, I took a plane from Washington to that state and from that state to and to Hawaii. First, uh, this plane from the state that I had a layover in, from uh, from uh, Hawaii, specifically Oahu. When I got there, I freaking could not contact my host family it's like it stops you can't receive calls anymore in your number and not much reach roaming because i was like i'm not gonna pay money for it because you're gonna get a sim card there anyway so i was like oh i'll 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 manage it when I get there. If you can pay for roaming, definitely go get roaming uh, for at least just a week. I sat there for like two weeks without a SIM card and it was freaking hard. Uh, all, all airports have uh, Wi-Fi by the way, so do not worry about this. It's just that telephone can end with telephone smart bark Allah. So it was lagging. When I was I could not, I could not um, connect to the Wi-Fi. So I was like, <clears throat> I am stuck in the airport. I don't know. So I was stuck in the airport. I was super freaking stressed. I did not know what to do. 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 So that's how airports work. So I was stuck there. Jlit, Flamatar. It was not a big airport. It was not that big. What can I just like, you know, it was my first time in the airport, by the way. It was all my first times. So I was going to leave the airport. ولكن I gave up like فش ما عرفت إيش غندير. I decided to talk to somebody and ask them, right? بنت لي واحد المرة وقلت um oh she looks nice. I'm gonna ask her and she's gonna help me, right? So كنت يا غادي بحلقة, right? غادي أشد الباكج ديال بحلقة زرة like الفاليز ديالها. And I was coming this way. It's like excuse me. أقول لها excuse me. I'm busy. Where is she? Like she was like she was like. Walking at a very normal pace. Excuse me, I'm busy. <laughs> and oh my god, I almost cried <laughs> at that moment. I was like, 
I thought you said American people were nice. This is not nice behavior. Allah, it's no power. I like it. I like it. When to be? Amana. Nabi, package the beer. Which I understand by the way, like it's totally fine. People are normally rushing in the airport, so it's super stressful. Fimji, like she, who knows, she probably was like trying to catch a flight or something. What can you know, as someone who's like first time flying or first time in that country, first time speaking their language, like I was super stressed. Well, like when I got up, the, when I got the, cor the courage to talk to somebody and ask. She ignored me, she was like, I'm busy. I'm just like, Jenny. <laughs> so I just stood there and I was like, oh, what am I going to do? And you know what my dumb thought is? <laughs> the end I had like rocking mentality. I was like, there were I was like, there they're probably going to be like a place where I can call somebody. From so, I just kiss me with like from so like telebuti, ah telebuti, kadi kik, telebuti. We still have those in Morocco. Like we have, do we? Do we? I I don't know. Maybe some places. From so, and I mean, I had the brain of a five year old. That was in the eighties. Everybody has a phone now. Like they're obviously not gonna have telebuti kisma. So like they're gonna probably be a public telephone and there and I, I can I can call my host mother. I have the, her number since my SIM card doesn't work. I found a Starbucks worker to ma. Where they can can get serve like you know coffee, in in like the airport Starbucks. Um, asked her I was like, hey, is there a place to call somewhere here? And she was like, no, I don't think so. And she was like, she was honestly not like that rude, you know. She was like, um. But there's Wi-Fi, you should try and like connect to it. And I was like, it didn't want to work. So she's like, ah, oh, sorry, I can't help. Well, so I'm just back away, but you had like this guy. He was handsome, by the way. I asked, I was like, hey, do you think there's a place I could call somebody here? I'm lost, right? And he was like, no, I don't think so. But I can give you my phone, right? I can give you my phone to call. And I was like, okay, thank you so much. He gave me his phone. I dialed the number of my host mom and guess what happened? Zar the edit zone. Sony? Nobody's answering. It's ringing, but nobody's answering. <laughs> the embarrassment, you guys. I was waiting. It didn't want to answer. I was like, Ugh, nobody's answering. So I obviously had to give him his phone. I was like, uh, he was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I'm busy. Like, so that's your phone, I'm sure. So yes, بقيت ما كان دور ما لقيت ما ندير مشيت بقيت كان دور عشان هاد تهبط هبط مع الخرجة وما بلي تشي واحد ما طلعت خرجت من الأيربورت وعاد دخلت وصافي I decided to try Wi-Fi again and guess what happened? It worked. After all that, it finally worked. Like, why didn't it work? Like, why did I have to go through all that? Why did I have to ask a real woman? Oh, <laughs> Safi. I found messages from like my host mother, WhatsApp with Akshi Kamal. And then I called. I was like, hey, I just connected the Wi Fi. What should I do? She was like, you have to go like. And then I didn't know where to go, right? I guess what? I had to interact with another human being. So yes, he knew that I was new here. He was like, welcome to the US. <laughs> I was like, thank you. Yeah, so he was like, happy to meet you. So yes, um, I ended up getting out of the airport. I'd made in my host family and they gave me a lay, which was really nice. So that was my story time about me Getting lost in the airport. Khush, if you do kind of enjoy the so I decided to cut it off into two parts. But from Khush, I will post the second part either this week or next week, inshallah. So don't forget to go follow my Instagram. We're almost at 500. And as soon as we have enough people from YouTube, I'll answer all of your questions so you don't have to DM me and wait like a week for me to answer. Because school's been so hectic lately and it's not fun. So don't forget to leave a comment, like this video, and it'll be on sale.